Hello, everyone. The Lortel Foundation is celebrating the reopening of theater with Ngazi Anyanwu. I am John Andrew Morrison. Hello, Ngazi. Hi. <laughs> I'm doing so good. I'm so excited to talk to you about your new show at the Atlantic Theater, which is going to be um, bringing the Atlantic Theater back to live theater here in New York. So mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about your play? Sure, sure, sure. I mean, the incarnation actually of it started during uh, the quarantine. Oh. Um, I had worked on a piece uh, with the 24 hour plays, actually. Um, and the actor that I was paired with was Pedro Pascal. And the initial sort of like impetus for, I don't know if you've ever worked on the 24 hour plays, it's like they give you a fancy schmancy actor. And the actor, <laughs> for the online edition, it was like they're like in their homes or wherever they're at, and they'll give you like a prop and like something that they've never done before. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Yeah. yeah, and so Pedro was like, I got this playbill and I've never been insane. Oh. <laughs> and so I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> time to get into it just at 24 hours and then i kind of took the time to like i mean the 24 hours to like write like a one two page monologue essentially that he uh -huh. did and you can see it online and then after he had done that i was like what would it be like to keep writing that piece? oh so how just, lovely yeah so and i and i was pretty uninspired to like make things during uh, the pandemic, but that piece, I just kind of like would get up at two o'clock in the morning and rant and like just add to that piece. And I was like, I'm just going to quit at 25 pages. I'm just going to quit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it got to like 25 pages and I was like, oh, this might be a play. Put it back in the closet. Like, you know, like, and like didn't pay attention to it. And uh, the Atlantic was so like lovely and, and, and helpful at least when I was like starting to begin to write. And so they were like actually workshopping different plays of mine, um, you know, all over Zoom, just kind of in-house working on things. And then the kind of top of the year comes and I'm like, I have this piece that I wrote like in a depressive fervor. You wanna <laughs> read it? <laughs> Since you're reading like, cause they were just literally like, no pressure, we're not gonna prompt to do anything, whatever. And like, we, we don't need to do a public reading, like whatever you're writing, we just wanna read. And uh, I was like, you say that, <laughs> you know, people say that, but it's lies. They're always like, we just want to read it. And look at this, now a production. Read, it. <laughs> well, you know what? We failed to let people know what is the name of this piece? Yes, this piece is called The Last of the Love Lovers. So tell us about Black Fear Night. Yeah, I mean, I know people have feelings, so many feelings about it, but I mean, I remember, so pre being produced by any sort of like institution, me and my sister, shout out to Chi Chi Ayangu. Chi Chi. Um, we've always kind of self produced and made our own work. So we've done things like this thing that we did back in the day called First Generation Nigerian Project. Right, yes. Which was like four or five like Nigerian American women where we talked about writing and daddy issues and performing. And, <laughs> and that was like me, Mfaniso, Yvonne Orji. This is like back in the day. Yeah, yeah. You know? um, and we self-produced and we did it. So we kind of already and have always had sort of our own sort of like audience essentially. Um, even Good Grief, my first play that I wrote, we self-produced that. I did that with my friends. Um, in um, I was hanging out with uh, Lou Moreno at Intar. He gave me his space, right. we kickstarted it. So we have always kind of like made things. We also have this company uh, with Mfaniso, she's artistic director called Now Africa. So, so we've always sort of like focused on our stuff focused on black things because that's what we are and black people have always showed up for us yeah and they've always been very low cost so it's like five dollars here ten dollars here free here right and so um it was one of those things where like once i got into those institutions i was like well how do i take those people with me but it really black theater night technically really started with like um um, Dominique when she was at the Atlantic and she had done, I want to say it's Skeleton Crew. Right. Um, and I remember when she was doing that in the sort of second stage theater and she was really, she specifically, I think she didn't really self-produce. So she specifically as a black writer was like, how do I get my people here? Like I wrote this play for these black people. And so I don't know if she'd reach out to my sister, but she'd reach out to, you know, our sort of artistic 
black community and was like, yo, come, 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 come. This is for y'all, you know? And so I know that she was one of the first people to really put it out there of like, yeah, I'm in these institutions, but like who's seeing my work and who's judging my work, you know? And right. so it's based off, of, I want to say she's the one who really kind of was like the impetus for it, for that sort of like putting that out there into the sphere. Yeah, we think of Black Theater Night as a gift. As yeah. like, it's not just like, cause it's cheap or whatever. It's mostly just kind of like, just for us to like be together and do yeah. this with each other, it's a it's a it's a gift. We don't get a lot of theatrical space where we get to do that, and so we think of it as that. And so it's like when we're thinking of like it's like who wants this gift of yeah. us just getting to like absorb this without worry of anyone else's perception, but mostly like and absorb this piece of work, um, no matter how it is, whether it's co comedic, traumatized, whatever. But that's like a real like beautiful like it's a gift for each other you know Ngazi it's great talking with you again the last of the love letters running at the Atlantic Theatre Company August 26 to September 26 um, visit atlantictheater.org for more information thank you so much thank you so much